for Ms. Saga Lakeshore to uh, his right to reply. Good morning, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, and uh, welcome back to you and to all my colleagues. Uh, it's indeed an honor to speak on this first parliamentary day of 2017, the year of our 150th anniversary. And to start off, I would like to thank my colleagues in this House for their interest in Bill C-309, an act to establish Gender Equality Week, and for their important contributions to the debate at second reading and for their support. I would also like to thank the members of my incredible team for their tireless efforts and the stakeholders, community organizations, and Canadians from all walks of life who shared their views with us. In particular, I want to thank Rochelle Bergen and the Strength and Stories team for their ideas that helped bring us to where we are today. Mr. Speaker, this effort is about building a more inclusive society. We think about Gender Equality Week as an opportunity to rally all Canadians around a very important issue and to generate additional momentum for social change. It is not an occasion to celebrate accomplishments, but as reflected in the preambular paragraphs, Gender Equality Week seeks to raise awareness of the most profound remaining challenges and offers a platform to work collaboratively on concrete solutions. To be absolutely clear, Mr. Speaker, I'm very proud of, we, of what we as Canadians are already doing to achieve gender equality and equity. In November 2015, our Prime Minister formed Canada's first cabinet with female-male parity. Our government has launched an inquiry into Canada's missing and murdered Aboriginal, Aboriginal Indigenous women, and the Minister for the Status of Women is developing a federal strategy against gender-based violence. Et le gouvernement du Canada a déposé le projet de loi C-16 qui protège les Canadiens à identité ou expression de genre minoritaire par l'ajout de l'identité et de l'expression de genre à la liste des motifs de distinction illicite au terme de la loi canadienne sur les droits de la personne. In early December 2016, the Governor of the Bank of Canada, the Minister of Finance, and the Minister for the Status of Women announced that Nova Scotia businesswoman and civil rights rights activist Viola Desmond will be the very first Canadian woman to be featured on a Canadian banknote. But important as these and other actions are, Mr. Speaker, there is more work ahead of us than there is behind us. And to close the remaining gaps, the government will need the advocacy, the support, and the commitments of Canadians. Bill C-309 recognizes this need and issues a call to action to all Canadians to become involved. Men, women, Canadians of minority gender, identity and expression, children, students, educators, civil servants of all levels of government, young and established professionals, new Canadians, our Indigenous peoples, Canadians in law enforcement and our armed forces, and seniors. Involvement in Gender Equality Week could take a wide range of forms, including town hall discussions, university and college colloquia, music, plays, literature, film projects, workplace roundtables, the formulation and presentation of academic research, public rallies, fundraisers, and social media, radio, and television events and campaigns. Monsieur le Président, nos, nos consultations auprès de divers groupes, organisations et ordres de gouvernement nous ont, uh, nous ont aidé à rédiger un préambule substantiel qui donne aux Canadiens et Canadiennes une description approfondie des défis qui nous attendent. Les défis qui représentent la violence fondée sur les sexes et la disparité salariale entre les sexes sont des obstacles particulièrement sérieux que nous, en tant que Canadiens, devons contrer et éliminer. Par l'engagement actif, nous pouvons faire des progrès réels sur ces deux fronts. I look forward to working on Bill C-309 with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle of this House in the days, weeks and months ahead. And I encourage my fellow members to support this bill as the time to act, Mr. Speaker, is now. It is only through concerted, sustained action that real and lasting social change can become a reality. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.